This is a demo of a node source. So it grabs from SQL databases. And if you go into a project and click Edit Nodes, you'll see that it's grabbing the local server, which is the Rundeck server, as well as SQL resource model source. And if I look at this and edit it, you can see the query that it's running, the connection URL. In this case, it's connecting to an Azure SQL database, and the database name is specified here. The username and password are specified in these two fields, and then the driver is specified here. This will work with Oracle, Postgres, MySQL, what, any type of SQL database that has a JDBC driver. And I'm going to cancel that. Normally, uh, your node sources come from perhaps your CMDB and ServiceNow, your AWS inventory, your Azure inventory, perhaps from a script or a URL or VMware or a file. In this case, the benefit of the SQL resource model source is that uh, if you have a mixed uh, cluster, you know, Windows server and a Linux server for Rundeck, uh, it puts it on the lowest common denominator type of uh, inventory, as well as just any miscellaneous uh, CMDB that you happen to have in SQL. So let's um, take a look at that. If I look at the output of this, um, basically it's in the nodes. And you can see there's three nodes. And it's you know simple here. Now, if you want to, you can use Rundeck to populate this database. Let me show you what I mean by that. If I click on the Jobs tab here, and SQL add one node, and I'm going to click on that. And using the normal features of Rundeck, you can see I can put in a project name here. So um, I have a default there. Uh, this is the name of my server, uh, the host name. That's what it uses to connect. The username I'm going to use. And then here's the selector uh, for the various different uh, node executors or file copiers if you want to specify that or you can leave it blank and then it just uses the project settings and description tags etc so you can essentially make your own database form here uh, that you can use to populate if you want to uh, similarly if you go back to jobs here you can display um, all the nodes in your database or perhaps delete you know one of the nodes in your database that's it thanks for watching